So empowering our end users to say, hey, we're going to give you the best in class detection. We're going to alle alleviate the noise. And when you see something in the platform, you need to take action. You need to do something about it. And then not providing our end users with the ability to stop that is, is, is something that we saw was something that we definitely couldn't do in the market. So we included that ability and we're very proud of the ability to respond and stop these activities, right? Detection is great, but if we're not able to stop it, it's only a matter of time before these attacks spread or cause drastic or, you know, safety issues. While these facilities, there's lots of safety concerns. Uh, so that's something we definitely have to be consider about. Very controlling in a way, but if we see very, things that are very, very suspicious and very, very blatantly someone has taken advantage of remote access solution or someone has obviously shared credentials for remote access solution with other vendors or other people, and we're seeing exfiltration of data and things like that, we want the ability to put a stop to that, put eyes on that for one, but put a stop to that very, very, very quickly for our clients. So one thing we hear a lot as well is, hey, we're doing all these existing approaches, you know, we're tracking CVs and we're doing things like this and, and, and we're doing asset inventories, but, you know, I do a cyber vulnerability assessment and I still, I have thousands of vulnerabilities across my devices, right? Tracking of patches and, and then patching them where applicable when there's maintenance windows and things like that, it's not really moving the needle, right? Every year I do my, my cyber vulnerability assessment and I still see massive problems. Well, this is an issue, right? And we really want to push the industry to really start leveraging more approaches, and that's one of the things that we want to focus on now. So let's jump to the next slide here, Dan. And we really want to focus on the, the lack of leveraging the automated tools, right? And making sure that you're saving as much time as possible. Just things like vulnerabilities, right? The ability to assess, we talked about this before, but monitoring of your own environment, looking at what vendors are saying and being able to educate yourself is, is really, really important. Um, but it's time consuming to do that. So we want to automate that process, just like we automate the um, incident alerting and, 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 and detecting of, of activity in your environment. We, we want to make the notification piece as easy as, as possible. So what you're basically seeing here is from our prevent module. So we're, we know all the devices in your environment. So we're monitoring on your behalf. That is the CISA feeds, that is other vendor feeds, that is different uh, Twitter and forums and things like that. Anything that we can get our hands on of threat information or new attacks or zero days or anything that's out there, we're feeding that information into a platform that we call Newsroom inside of Darktrace. And that gives you actionable data on your own information. So what you see here in the example is uh, a recent VMware uh, um, notification came out of a CVE. We're showing it for you here. We display the context of the vulnerability. Uh, we reference the CVE itself with some links, details about the CVE, and then which ones of your systems are affected or not affected. So you know very quickly if this is something um, that's inside your environment or not, if you need to take action as well. Above and beyond that, if we jump to the next slide, so we have vulnerabilities. We all do, right? Which ones do we apply first? Okay. That's a big concern. A lot of our clients focus on, hey, we only have so many maintenance windows a year. We only have so much time during the maintenance window. We have to get our operations back online. We can't stay down to patch everything. What should we patch first? Well, typically what clients do, and the industry kind of does as a whole, is we leverage the CVSS score, right? What is the criticality of the vulnerability? And that's an important metric to leverage. And I encourage people to, to consider the CVSS score when, when assessing if a patch should be applied or not. However, you truly should consider that CVS score in your specific environment. And that's exactly what Darktrace Prevent is doing. This is our end-to-end -end solution. So it is looking for all of the activity coming in to your network and all the activity from your network communicating out. And it learns these patterns and it creates what we call attack path modeling. So we can see, hey, if we apply this specific vulnerability, then it's actually going to mitigate these X number of attack paths. And therefore, even though the CVE might be a level two CVSS score, it's actually the highest priority for you to install because it's on a portion of your network that is more easily accessible or uh, higher risk, right? Versus applying maybe this one patch uh, that's a level 10 CVSS score that's more downstream in your network. So this provides you actionable data and actually scores the security and the risk of your environment currently, and then based off of the actions that you implement. So we can actually tell you, and if you jump to the next slide, Dan, you can start to see some of that. We're actually scoring. So this is an actual advisory that came in. We score the potential damage of this. We show you the difficult level for an attacker to take advantage of it. 
and then all the tag links associated with it. We even recommend additional mitigations. If you put this mitigation in place and you can click it just like Dan did there, it'll tell you exactly what to do and we can help implement that. Darktrace can help do that for you. Uh, you can leverage that or you can do it manually and you can go into the platform here in the top right, which Dan is showing you, and you can actually say that you've mitigated it yourself or maybe you ignore it. Maybe an alert comes out and you say, hey, I actually don't think this is something we're going to apply to our machines. It's too risky, or we're never going to bring this machine offline. It's too important. So therefore, we're just going to ignore this. You can classify that in the platform and track that. But we're giving you actionable, prioritized data for you to take action to make the most effective use of your time and your team's time that you have on a weekly basis.